Have you seen this before? If not, then let me tell you that these are animals. It is a meru creature. Isn't that colorful? But you must keep a distance from them because they are highly poisonous. But there is a fish that loves to swim through these animals called Nemo, I mean clownfish. You may have seen him in a movie named Finding Nemo, right? Now in this video we will find how clownfish are a poison of animals and stay there peacefully. Let's jump into it. Before entering into the topic, let's know how animals spray. You can see the tentacles of them. These are their main weapons. Their stinging tentacles are triggered by the slightest touch, firing a harpoon like filament called a nematocyst into their prey. Once injected with the paralysis neurotoxins, the prey is guided into the mouth by the tentacles. Now the question is how clownfish avoid this deadly weapon called nematocyst and swim through them? Actually, clownfish are born with protective mucus layer. However, most fish have a similar protective layer but clownfish have a thicker mucus layer than other fish. Some studies tell us that those mucus layers become thicker when they get in contact with those tentacles. This is the way clownfish protect themselves from animals. But do you know animals don't consider them as their prey too? Let's know why. First of all, animals don't think clownfish as invasive. Other fish see animals as potential food which is why they swim towards the tentacles despite the danger. The animals take this as just an advantage. Even though clownfish sometimes nibble on animals' tentacles, the animals don't attack because they don't see it as threat. Even if they try to attack clownfish, the protective layer of mucus makes clownfish invulnerable to the nematocyst. But there are another main reason why animals don't see them as prey. According to experts, Clownfish are very colorful and active which attract small marine creatures towards them, which are the potential food for animals. Moreover, clownfish are experts in defending their territory. It actually helps animals to not get eaten by strong creatures. Clownfish are also dependent on animals. Animals cover and protect their eggs. This way clownfish and animals build mutualism which is called symbiotic relationship. We can notice this relationship in other marine creatures also. If you want to know about that, then let me know in the comment section. I hope you have learned something new, right? If so, then subscribe to this channel for more of these types of interesting videos. It's time to go. Ecolab Expert, signing off.